friends my name is basan so today is my topic how we can create a project using pnp so here i'm going to create a new a new project using ng uh, using angular cli so so as you see we can use the ng new hyphen hyphen help to get the information about the command so i am creating the project with the name of office ec5 test and providing some of the parameters for hyphen capital s for skip testing hyphen small p for giving a prefix called office and the another i would like to uh, add the routing so uh, double hyphen and routing so apart from this i am quickly run dry double hyphen dry run so it will not create anything it will just show me that what are the file going to be create so i am going to remove a dry run now it's going to install and run uh, the script so it's done now so i have paused the previous part so now next step would be npm installed so i'm going to install the new dependency is called bootstrap so so save uh, hyphen hyphen save so yeah so i think i have i have to go to the directory inside the directory then i need to run the script because i'm at the outside of the project so for that i need to go to the particular client cd and the name of the project is uh, it's office 365 test so now i'm going to execute the same command is npm install bootstrap hyphen hyphen save so it will add the dependency to my project or json file as you may be aware of so it's done now now i have to install the another dependency this dependency called the nx ngx hyphen toaster so it's displaying the toaster so it's uh, done so another dependency i'm going to install we can install the s um, directly i'm going to install sp hyphen pnp dot js is the framework it's created by uh, the team so now um, i'm going to open the project on visual studio code as you see so now i'm quickly i'm going to open the angular.json file here i'm providing the some of the css libraries the one library is called bootstrap so i'm type node inside the node modules and the the bootstrap is the name of uh, yes the bootstrap is a directory so inside the bootstrap there would be a destination list and there is css and the bootstrap.main.css so i'm going to include this in inside the angular.json file so it will include while in the the bundle during my bundle so it will going to add this i take care of this dependency add this dependency into my bundle so node hyphen module slash ngx is a toaster css i'm going to add so the name of the hmm, cs file is toaster.css so now it's done here as well so the next step would be uh, to show you that uh, this is the app uh, component dot html file and these are all the html and if you see this is how, um, so so now i'm going to paste some of grab some of the bootstrap navigation so i'm going to the bootstrap get bootstrap.com and 4.1 version is the latest uh, css that i'm using in my project and copy and paste it so in the next step i'm going to create the container and the container i'm going to place uh, this file so let's create one row and the inside the row i will create the column so column 12 i'm going to paste uh, the router outlet inside the dev so this is this will uh, 
create a wrapper so let me quickly open uh, the integral terminal oh sorry so i'm going to open write the command ng serve hyphen o it will open uh, uh, the project into the browser uh, in the serve mode so you will see the changes in the html as well so it will take some time it will create all minification all bundling process so yes that's it so this top navigation is there now the next step would be to uh, to go to to create uh, so yes the next step uh, to need to add some of the component so i'm going to uh, generate so ng generate component or you can directly write ng hyphen g or you can write generate full form so i'm going to write g nd g g for generate and c for component so the name of the component is user so press enter so it will create the component for me so similarly i am adding the other components as well so so i'm going to first i'm going to open this in to the browser to ng serve hyphen o to check yes it's working fine so i will see this is a home feature pricing and now i'm going to add these component as well so i'm going to terminate by pressing control c and creating other component as well for example home component the other component would be the features and the third component i'm going to add it's called pricing that's it so the component now created successfully uh, let me show you the component as well so so here are the component features home users and pricing and the user if so, the, so you will see so i have created this this angular cli and you will see this uh, the in the module you will see all the comp component are included in the module as well so i need not to be do anything now here what i need to do i need to uh, create my routes so for that i i am going to specify the routes for users path colon users and the component is user component so it automatically add if you see in the import at the top it will automatically add a press tab so it's uh, the the intelligence i mean is very powerful this visual studio code so you just just write it down the name of the component and press tab will automatically import that module to your file so similarly i create the features i create the home and i create the pricing module i mean in and specify the path and the route in the routing section so is this if you see it's a app hyphen routing dot model dot ts file so for pricing i am redirected to the pricing module so last but not least i need to cover the one another case that if the path is empty so i am going to redirect this to a specific uh, path so here we are what i need to write a redirect colon and the path that i mentioned above so i'm going to redirect it to the home path path so i'm specify the home and here i need to specify uh, specify the name of the match pattern so match pattern match path match 
and it will be full so it will okay and the another case it's called if nothing is found so then star star represent then i'm going to re remove it and then in then this case i'm directly it's redirected to home so so either the if, if the path is not specified or if the wrong path is found then it redirected to the home component so now i'm going to use ng serve hyphen o to open the same into the terminal and you will find uh, this user feature as a home so let me quickly see the output so it will take some time yes so if you see it's automatically it directed to the home so now i'm click here pricing users and for for feature yes. it will work for feature as well now my the next the yeah so the pricing if i specify some uh, some wrong term for example blah 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 and blah 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 that will redirect to the home so my redirection work thank you very much so see you soon bye